Hey guys, welcome to another massive tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make the low sidechain bass sound you heard in the intro there. Um, it's actually pretty simple and doesn't even use a filter. So first off, we're going to set oscillator 1 to poly saw 1 and set it to the bend option in the middle here and then drag the intensity to the middle and the wavetable position to right about there. And let's go ahead and drop this pitch one octave. And then let's turn on oscillator two and set it to scrapyard and pick the same bend option as you did for oscillator one and put the intensity and the wavetable position basically in the same spot that the poly saw was in and also drop it down one octave. Now right now I have a drum pattern in here. You can hear that real quick. Um, my massive is turned off right now. Um, but let's go ahead and hear with just the sound we have right now. So it's a pretty nice sound. Um, we're going to go ahead and change that up a bit. Um, let's go back over here to the modulation oscillator. Go to phase and turn on the second oscillator and pull that all the way down. Let's go to envelope three here. We're going to turn this level all the way up and the attack pretty far up. And let's take that drag it to the phase and pull pretty far. And to give this a grittier sound, come into insert one, turn that on and select hard clipper. Turn that drive up pretty far and the down to dry just a little farther. And then in FX1 set that to the phaser option. Turn the dry wet knob down some, the rate down pretty far, feedback up, and just leave the depth right where it is. And then in FX2, we're going to put in a dimension expander. And we don't want too much of that in there, so we're going to pull that down. Okay, let's go ahead and hear that. So it sounds pretty good. Um, now what we're going to do for the side chain, if we actually go into LFO5 and select a performer, go to sync, and set it to 1 fourth because that's how we want it to side chain. Go to load curve and select this one right here and just drag that all the way across. Take this X fade and pull it all the way to the top. Now, um, if you watched my previous video on white noise, I did basically the same thing, um, a little different here, but we're going to use this performer to sidechain the main amp, and that's what's going to cause our sidechain effect. So let's hear that. Once you get that, you can add in a few other things. You can get a really nice sound with just using Massive um, in different ways. See, so yeah, I think that's a great example of um, something simple like, oh, that can be really powerful. Hopefully you found that helpful.